Have you ever wondered what governs your own thoughts and behavior? Have you ever wondered how your personality or the personality of other people develops? Have you ever wondered how this three pound mass of what we call brain is responsible for all of your thoughts, desires, ambitions, everything that makes you, you. If you've ever thought about any of these questions or any multitude of questions that are similar in nature, well, I'm happy to report that psychology would be a good study for you. So for me, I have been doing psychology for about 30 years. And to this day, I'm still fascinated by the subject because as a psychologist, not only do I learn about how humans operate, the more technical terms that we use are how do our mental processes and our behavior change, but it allows me to see how we can relate these ideas and principles outside of psychology. We come at it from different perspectives, of course. Developmental psychologists want to understand how do we change across maturation? How does our behavior change? How do our thoughts change? A cognitive psychologist may ask, well, how is it that we're able to focus and attend as you're doing right now with this video? A biological psychologist such as myself says, well, all of these things that govern, uh, govern us as people, how is our brain responsible? A clinical psychologist or a counseling psychologist looks at not just at your life and your ability to live a happy, healthy life, but they're concerned with when that doesn't go right, when it goes awry. So how can we diagnose and treat people? How can we benefit people in order for them to be able to get back on the quote, right path? So all of these are facets of psychology. I have had the opportunity to teach psychology in the US and China and in India now. And what I found is that there is a universality to psychology. Now, of course, there are cultural differences and other things that come into play, but there is much, much more that unites us than the divisions that might stand between us. As a student of psychology, sure, you're gonna learn about psychology and all of its applications, but more than that, you're also gonna gain a skill set. As a graduate of JSPC, you're going to have lots of opportunities, not just within other employment areas, but also within psychology, academia, other institutes, government, and so forth. So in this way, our goal as a institution, our goal as a school, is to really provide that knowledge, information, and skills to our student in order to ensure, to the best of our ability, their future success as productive citizens of the world.